Well, good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're joining us from. We love the fact that you're here today for our presentation for TouchPlan and Sarah and Andrew. My name is Eileen Goldberg, and I will be your moderator for today. I'm with LCI. There's a couple of housekeeping items I'd like to go over before we get started. The first is this is being recorded, and a copy of the recording in the slide deck will be available on our Congress website, www.lcicongress.org 2023. When you see a red asterisk to the left of the TouchPlan logo, please click on the TouchPlan logo and you'll be taken directly to the recording in the slide deck. You'll notice the control panel, the long skinny box on the right-hand side of your screen. There's a red arrow to the left of that box. That's the minimization and maximization arrow. Please feel free to use that throughout the presentation so you can view the presentation more closely. At the bottom of the control panel, you'll see the questions box. If you have any questions, please put them in that box. They'll be answered at the end of the presentation. If your question references a particular slide or topic, please also put that in your question so we can answer your question accordingly. We'll also be doing a quick plus delta at the end of the presentation. And for those of you who are not familiar with the term, pluses are things you thought added value to the presentation, and deltas are things you think we should change to add more value to the presentation. In the spirit of continuous improvement, we absolutely want that feedback from you. So just a quick recap, this is being recorded. A copy of the recording in the slide deck will be available on our Congress website when you see the red asterisk to the left of the TouchPlan logo. You'll see the control panel with the minimization and maximization arrow, as well as the questions box. Please put any questions that you have in the questions box. They'll be answered at the end and be thinking about that feedback as well. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Andrew and Sarah. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, Eileen. So welcome everybody to TouchPlan's webinar. Today we're going to be discussing supporting your lean project lifecycle using real-time analytics, which meets patented and poll planning. So before we begin, make sure to check out TouchPlan's demo on demand, live demo, as well as free trial, all of which are available on our main website, which is www.touchplan.io. If you would like to learn more about TouchPlan or would like to hop into the software itself and test it out. So not only am I here today, I'm Sarah Cusack. I'm the one of the customer success managers at TouchPlan, but I'm also joined by Andrew Piland, who is our product manager at TouchPlan and is going to be hopping into the tool a little bit later on to give you a preview of what TouchPlan is. Yeah. Hey, guys. I'm Andrew. So first off, what is TouchPlan? Well, TouchPlan is a live collaborative software that really empowers your teams to implement their lean principles into their planning process in a more approachable way. It allows for your teams to be uh, working together to address changes in their schedule and generate that data so they can plan as they plan so they can finish on time or even under budget. They can look back at what's happening last week and then look forward to what is happening in the upcoming weeks within their schedule. Now, why use TouchPlan? There are multiple reasons to use TouchPlan, but I have it broken out into here into four main buckets. So you can really plan using those lean principles. With TouchPlan, you can meet teams where they are at in their learning journey, or in their learning the lean journey. We understand that every single team is kind of at a different place in their lean journey, and TouchPlan is a much more approachable way to be able to customize the planning process to have your team for your team. It can help your team really break down their project all the way from that large master schedule down to the daily planning. So you can get into those nitty gritty details that happen on the day to day. You can also easily apply lessons learned to future planning sessions. TouchPlan also supports multiple collaborative planning methods. So it's not a one size fits all platform. We work with you to make sure that you have a setup that really helps your project meet their planning goals. It empowers your teams to commit to an outcome, not just implement the solution, as well as easily identify constraints to better manage those roadblocks to ensure that you are really completing your work on time and your schedule is not derailed. We have collaborate with TouchPlan, teams can collaborate more. It empowers users to own their schedule. Teams can work together all at once while using TouchPlan to really be able to track who's doing what and when tasks are getting done, all within a clear view. All users can be able to see the schedule so they can really identify you know, what is going on for not only their specific role in the overall team, but for the rest of the project as well. From trades to the owners, get buy-in and engagement from all stakeholders. 
because everybody is an active user and they all, like I said before, own that schedule. And with TouchPlan, you are gonna get project data and analytics, which we provide you with these robust analytics that is missed in with manual planning. We have our dashboards available to you guys, which really allows for you to dive deep into what is going on within your project and identify pain points as well as where you're doing really well and to be able to take these lessons learned and apply them in the future. Andrew's gonna show you a little bit more about that, those analytics later on. But now, throughout your time in TouchPlan, you are gonna have the support of the customer success team. Now, who are we? We're touch plan experts that can really help nav you navigate your uh, planning journey. You will have a dedicated customer success manager throughout your time in touch plan that will work with you and your project team throughout the entire duration of your project. So we're not just there for the initial training, we're there for pull plan prep and debrief calls, as well as best practice review calls, new feature adoption suggestions, and more. We're here to really support you throughout your time in TouchPlan and ensure you are getting the most out of your time there using our software. Now, I'm kind of mentioning you know, this throughout your time in TouchPlan. What, what does that look like, though, for you guys? You're going to be kind of going through what we call your project's life cycle. So here we have a walk, jog, run. Uh, analogy where when we're walking, we're going to be going through our onboarding phase. We're going to be executing that first planning session. And then we're going to be moving into our adoption phase as we get more comfortable into the software. Here, we're going to really be looking at our project data and understanding that data and how we can really analyze our planning habits to be able to learn from our past and get the most accurate schedule going forward. And then finally, we move really into where we're starting to run, our value realization. This is when we're learning how to customize and enhance the planning process to fit your team. Like I said before, TouchPlan is not a one size fits all software. We understand each team is you know, unique and has its own unique challenges. So here we're really learning about what are the challenges that face up with our team? How can we best you know, overcome them? And really, really quick to add some color to that, um, having Touch Plan's customer success team along for every step of the way was something that I found quite valuable um, when I was running work and, and leading jobs with Touch Plan. Um, being able to reach through and talk to a live human being in about 20 seconds uh, was just incredibly valuable. Yeah, so we're not only here to support you, like Andrew said, when he was using TouchPlan on one of his projects, um, you know, we also have multiple other resources uh, available to you in our TouchPlan knowledge base, such as webinars, intro videos, Help Center articles, TouchPlan Academy, and more. All this is available to you for free. We also have new feature alerts and support emails so you stay up to date about what's going on in TouchPlan. And Andrew mentioned, you know, before getting, you know, an answer back for his questions in about 20 seconds. That's through our live chat. So you can either talk with myself or another member of the customer success team about any questions you might have. Um, and we're really there to support you. We have a very good response time of about 30 seconds during, you know, business hours, Monday through Friday. So now that I've delved in a little bit more about what is TouchPlan and you know how we really support you throughout your journey in TouchPlan, I'm going to be handing it over to Andrew, who's going to give you guys a little bit of a look into the software itself. Yeah, let me back up a little bit. So I'll pull up TouchPlan itself as soon as I remember how to use my computer. Um, so, you know, the title of the webinar being Ease of easy pull planning and easy implementation. And from that, you get analytics. So I'm gonna dive into just a quick demonstration here to show really how easy touch plan is to use um, and then why that's valuable, not just to those doing the planning, but to those who, oh, I went to the wrong plan, but to those who um, are actually pulling the analytics and need to make decisions about projects as they're happening. So this looks like a, a sticky note board you've probably seen in a million job site trailers everywhere. The problem with sticky notes is they fall on the floor. And unless you have an intern running around with scotch tape to keep them on the wall, 
you're going to lose the plan and no one can remember it. Uh, the beauty about this is you take this into the field with you on an iPad or on your phone and you have it. Uh, this little thing over here we call the active line was something we've patented. Um, and it's super cool because what I can do with it is if I have an activity over here that's in my sort of phase planning space, I just pull the active line across it or I pull an activity on the other side and it goes from a sticky note into an actual work activity. So I can keep that six week look ahead cadence and then start pulling activities back across uh, as I'm just going on my week to week cadence. So, and then as far as the data entry to this, it's as easy as clicking on a ticket and dropping in for these structured data fields, uh, what it is we're doing, when we're doing it, and you can do any number of custom fields to include milestones, like ready for milestones and constraints that can and will tie back to Procore or go into a constraint log where a project manager can then create a workflow and solve problems for the field. So that's that's really, I mean, it's, it's that simple. There's a million different things we do within the platform, but if you don't take anything else away from this, um, it's that we have, an incredibly easy to use video game like interface with a patented active line that helps you uh, basically fit all with your, the process you're already doing right now. We're just putting it on a big screen and then giving you analytics on top of it. So let's talk a little bit about our analytics offering. Um, <clears throat> what you can see right here is uh, say an owner's dashboard. So what we've seen is owners will put touch plan in their div one spec and require general contractors to use it on their project as a part of one last planner, but two digital last planner. And what these owners are getting is, is a view of contractors across their portfolio of projects, when they're happening, where their risk is um, and who's performing where. And what we're finding is that owners are really interested in teams that are forward thinking, that are leadership focused and are willing to digitize their processes so that they can get data and, and really do some live collaboration and evaluation. Um, so that's all the way to the top of the owner level. What you would see at like a, a general contractor company level would be something we're calling account insights, where across multiple accounts, and my, I, got, I pulled up the wrong one, but um, basically across multiple accounts, you can see all of that data from your week to week planning. Um, pulled into one place. And then one thing that our trade partner customers are using at an enterprise level is this dashboard called labor report, where they're basically, they're forecasting their uh, crew size requirements out over several jobs. So for example, um, you know, for in Carly's demo project, each of these roles, there's a forecast by week on how many people they're going to need. And our trade partner, um, partners are making hiring decisions based on that. And then me as you know, if I was a superintendent and a general contractor, I can start making site logistics decisions based on what my manpower curve is projected to look like. So do I need to call off board jobs or not? Do I need to um, add more break space? What is that? What does my job site really need to look like based on my projected manpower? Um, <clears throat> And you really can't do that with sticky notes. You just kind of maybe compile your daily reports over time and maybe create a spreadsheet. But from a process you're already doing on a day-to-day -day basis, it's already here for you. You don't have to do anything else new, additional, or special. Um, so what I'll show you here, and let me get back to this, is we're taking a... Oops, sorry about that. Let me pull up slideshow. Hit the wrong button. So now we're coming out with a new set of enterprise level analytics that are tailored to specific roles within a general contractor organization. And, and it applies to especially contractor organization as well. We, we started with the general contractor organization, um, but it, it does also apply especially. But anyway, basically we've created a dashboard that's soon to come out. This is kind of a sneak peek of the layout. And what we're focusing on with the new layout and the new analytics package is trends across multiple uh, key 
metrics within your project. So that's, that's PPC is always a, an important trend, but we're also looking at milestone percentage. We're looking at constraints solved on time, and we're looking at status of tickets whether or not teams are just doing the things within their control to manage the project. So, um, and compiling all that up into a single metric that will show trending later. Um, and we'll, we'll talk more about it upon release. But basically, we're tailoring a dashboard based on your team activity and performance for the C-suite, for a PX and regional manager who would have say a portfolio of projects underneath them. Um, and then a project manager and super would look at Want to have a dashboard project by project here. Um, you know, each has its own sort of flavor, but they generally all have the same metrics that they're compiling across either one or multiple projects. Um, and this is rolling out here in the next few months with TouchPlan. We're really excited about it. Um, as a as a new product manager, you know, I went from managing superintending construction projects to superintending software projects here at TouchPlan. Uh, this is kind of the, the first release that I've been working on, and we're really excited about it. So uh, if, if you already have TouchPlan, talk to your sales rep about executive analytics. And if you don't already, reach out to one of us and be happy to walk you through it. But basically, the things you're already doing on a day-to-day -day basis are being captured in an easy-to-use interface. And from there, you're getting analytics on top to help you make better decisions. So. With that, uh, we'll open up to pass it back to Eileen for some audience Q&A. Wonderful, thank you so much. This was a great presentation. You mentioned specialty contractors and you mentioned GCs. Let's talk about owners. Mm -hmm. How would owners use TouchPlan? Or uh, that's basically the question written here. How would owners use TouchPlan? And yeah, would they get so benefit out of it? One of the one of the best kind of butt chewings I ever got was around touch plan in an owner. Um, she pulled me into her office and she said, Andrew, you're planning all this work, you're doing all this stuff, but what milestone are you actually going toward? I'm trying to make sure that we're aligned with our master schedule and all of that. And I, it's not clear to me where, where your milestone is um, and that you're actually building work toward a handoff. And, and it, it really, it, it, was, it was an example of an owner making me better as a planner and a communicator where she was able to go into my touch plan, look at what was going on and, and ask a good question. Um, and I realized a lot of GCs are like, oh gosh, I don't, I don't want that at all. Um, I don't want them into my day-to-day -day look aheads. Um, hey, that's fine. You, you don't necessarily have to bring them in, but that's, that's one way uh, you can have a, a level collaborative conversation with an owner. Um, and, but secondly, an owner, like I showed that portfolio of projects before, they can look at a portfolio of projects and understand risk or, or progress based on the things that the GC is doing just on a day-to-day -day basis uh, and start to sort of understand which GCs need more attention than others, uh, which projects need more attention than others. Um, and then thirdly, for an owner, most of these, these larger projects that we mostly find ourselves on, we're really a, a big project kind of solution. Um, specifically, let's say data centers where there's a lot of owner furnished equipment coming in, your switch gear, your panels, your, your cooling, your chillers, all of that. Um, the owner has to make procurement decisions pretty early on. And so what we're seeing is that owners are using touch plan, not necessarily master schedule, but touch plan to understand demand signals for projects and, and to be able to forecast because, you know, a a master schedule might have a 20-day duration for install something that means ready for a particular piece of equipment. But what TouchPlan is saying is, no, 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 like based on how we're working and where we're tracking this thing, we're going to need this on this day. Uh, so really understanding demand signals for a supply chain is where we shine with owners as well. well Sarah, anything to add? Yeah, I I think Andrew touched on some really great things, especially with our dashboard. We do find owners are really into that data because it kind of gives you a peek into what's going on in the schedule. They also, we have a lot of reports um, within TouchPlan that provide you with a bunch of really great options for ways to view your data. And in my experience, you know, with owners in the past, they love having those reports um, to not only have that data in the dashboards, but 
the reports really allow you to filter down what you're viewing within your project or plan. So they really have the ability to see not only in our reporting, the large scale, the entire project, but also a little bit more detailed if they wish to do so, do so through things like our Gantt chart, our PPC report, um, or even our constraint log report, which you know I think Andrew kind of mentioned a little bit about you know constraints that are being you know happening for a lot of owners there. So I would say you know we have an abundance of uh, data available in multiple different ways that can really assist an owner throughout their kind of journey uh, in touch plan. Let's go back to projects. You said that touch plan is most of the time for larger scale projects. What is the average to perfect size project that touch plan would be used for? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's you know, exclusively for larger projects, but we're seeing most usage on projects with complex scopes, multiple trades, and really tight timelines where close coordination is critical, um, where a, a single handoff or a five day delay uh, is completely unacceptable. Really when the stakes are high is, is when we shine. Um, you know, but we, we have people who are building K-12 with touch plan who are using this just as a, as, as a good look ahead, last planner schedule update kind of platform. So really versatile, um, but the most value we're realizing for our customers is on these larger projects and programs. Yeah, and I would like to hop in about that too. So yeah, we have these huge large scope projects which are taking, you know, sometimes years, you know, to build and whatnot, but we do have much smaller projects as well. And so, you know, I work with a lot of teams where, you know, some of them are, like I said, those mega projects, but a lot of my teams are also going and doing a high rise or a school. I had one team that was doing a cafeteria within a college. Um, and so they rolled out touch plan with this one, you know, kind of cafeteria project and then slowly started implementing it with their other smaller projects within that overall campus. So, you know, while maybe you have smaller projects, we can always kind of work to create a structure that works best for you and that really can allow for you to have a home for all your projects um, and set up in one. Um, it really just depends on, you know, what you're looking for. So like I kind of have mentioned it before, touch plan is a little bit customizable. So for smaller projects, we'll be looking at it a little bit differently from those bigger projects as well. Yeah, and it give you kind of a bit of scale on that. Like we have anywhere from maybe a couple hundred activities in touch plan to over a hundred thousand on some projects. Yeah. I want to remind people, and I apologize for interrupting you, Sarah. Uh, now's the time to put in those plus deltas into the questions box. And again, for those of you who are not familiar with the term, pluses are things you thought added value to the presentation, and deltas are things you think we should change to add more value to the presentation. I know in the spirit of continuous improvement, Touch Plan, Andrew, and Sarah absolutely want that feedback from you. Our next question is, can multiple people be in Touch Plan on one project at the same time? Yeah, that's a great question. So yes, they can. Yeah, your team can have them pulled up on multiple devices at once. We see a lot of times during, you know, a team's weekly meeting, a lot of the people will come in, they'll have an iPad or their laptop with them, have touch plan pulled up as well as touch plan pulled up on a larger screen. Your trades can go in and add tickets and you'll be able to see those updates in real time within the project itself. So you can have multiple people working. It's not like you have to have one person sitting at a computer inputting all that information, uh, which could be a little bit tedious. Yeah, definitely. And it's, you know, it's anywhere from one user on a project to hundreds of users that can collaborate in real time. You know, think of like a Google Sheet or a, you know, now with Microsoft Excel where you can have multiple people editing at the same time. Uh, same idea. So if we're in a room, a planning meeting or a morning huddle, um, everyone brings their iPad or their laptop, these things are being updated and, and multiple people can contribute to distribute the burden of uh, planning and documenting planning from the general contractor team. Our next question is, what is the most difficult part of implementing touch plan? Leadership. I'll talk about that just for really quickly for a second. Um, you cannot throw software at something 
and expect it to be successful. Um, having a process in place by which you're already planning and communicating, I think is the first and most difficult step. But once you have that, uh, you're absolutely ready to talk to us and bring TouchPlan on board. I mean, TouchPlan is a, a platform by which leaders lead their projects uh, and, and get everyone on the same page. But until there's that drive, desire, and have identified that need to get everyone on the same page, uh, you know, it's you, you're basically just throwing software at something. So um, you know, I, I'd say really, it comes down to leadership to do that. So uh, yeah, th think about having a process first, and then once you have a process and you want to make it better, and you really want to start capturing that more and more value from that process, give us a call. Yes. Yeah. And like Andrew said, a lot of it is expectation <clears throat> setting, both for, you know, the leadership and then also any participants within the pro planning project itself about, you know, what are we looking for, not only in touch plan, but in terms of our goals for collaborating as well. Um, really being able to have those conversations, that's incredibly important and definitely um, something teams need to have. And, you know, while myself and the rest of our team are more than happy to discuss you know your goals and stuff and help you uh, kind of get to a point of really being great users of touch plan it's always coming down to those like implementing uh, the the expectations that we have set forth okay our next question is what is the cost of touch plan is it based on project volume it is a bit um... Really, we've we started on a like a basis point model of project volume, and we're still about there. Um, you know, look at your project and say if you have four basis points on your project volume um, through an ROI study we've done, you'll pay for itself in about six weeks. Um, for larger projects, we're looking at a, a usage based model, but I'd say between four to six basis points on your uh, project volume. <clears throat> I'm going to put you guys on the spot as we near the end of our webinar. So I want each of one, each one of you to answer this question for me. You have people who are looking at different software to do different things. And you, of course, have a lot of competition in the industry. If you have all of the people of the webinar, if they could take one thing from your webinar that you want them to take back and go to their companies and say, this is why we should use TouchPlan. This is why they're the best in the market. What would it be? Sarah? Yeah, so, you know, I think TouchPlan has a bunch of different pros um, and positives that can really help with your team. But I think for me and the one I see a lot of times with my team, it's really getting that collaboration. I would say TouchPlan has such an emphasis on collaboration and really buy in for the schedule from everybody within the team that we are moving away kind of from the necessarily command and control where only one person or a few people have access to that mass schedule to really being open about that schedule and allowing for teams to plan on the day-to-day -day and drill into those specifics and getting that collaboration from the team. I think um, our ability to get users into the projects, using the projects, and having them really track, you know, what they're committing to and being able to show those commitments um, in the analytics is truly, uh, in my opinion, unmatched. Andrew? Yeah, so going back, I think if if you have the process in place, if, if you're doing either last planner or what do you call it, last planner, and you're just, you just have a good planning and communication cadence in place, and you find yourself spending a lot of time handling information more than once, um, there's absolutely an imperative to talk to your project management team, talk to your PX, whoever it is, um, and explain that you need a platform to one, help you do that more quickly uh, because it frees you up to do other things on the project. Uh, you know, as project leaders, we, we really focus, our, our priorities of work are safety, quality, production in that order of precedence. Um, and the more time you're spending working on your production plan and, and documenting your production plan, the less time you have to focus on safety and quality, which are really the, the two biggest risks to, to project success. So um, I'd say 
build, get that process in place first. And once you have it and you just know that you, you don't want to mess with sticky notes anymore, you're done messing with Excel because you have to package it up and send it off and you can't get people collaborating and buying in as, as you would like, that's when you're at the absolute right time to start a conversation with us. So, um, you know, and the other thing too is to, if you have to sell it up to a PX or someone in the C-suite, um, you know, let them know that owners are starting to demand this and owners are looking for contractors that are leaning into digitization and innovation. Um, and by working with us, you're absolutely in that bucket. We're gonna sneak in one last question here and it's, is there a mobile app for Touch Plan? Yes, go ahead, Sarah, you know more about it than I do. Yeah, so we do have a mobile offering. It's Touch Plan Mobile. You can, you know, just go into any internet browser on your phone, type in m.touchplan.io, and it's going to be the same login you have for, you know, it, your Touch Plan uh, regular site for Touch Plan Mobile. And so Touch Plan Mobile is a really great option for your team to be able to bring their schedule out into the field. You're not always going to want to be bringing an iPad or a laptop out into the field, and we understand that. So Touch Play Mobile is a really great way for them to be able to view and update tickets all from their phone. It is in a very mobile-friendly view, so um, you know we break it down. It's more of a list format, I would say, um, and really allows for your team to have that visibility to be able to understand what they're supposed to be doing for the day if they're not always at the trailer with their laptop, with their iPad, um, and can be really helpful for teams especially you know like I said once they're away from that trailer well awesome we are out of time we'd like to thank Sarah and Andrew from touch plan for presenting today and all of you for attending please visit visit them at booth number 519 if you are attending Congress be sure to come to the exhibitor sneak peek reception on October 24th this was being recorded and a copy of the recording in the slide deck will be on the LCI Congress website www.lcicongress.org 2023 when you see a red asterisk to the left of the touch plan logo please click on the touch plan logo you'll be taken directly to the recording in the slide deck thank you again everyone we'll see you at Congress and have a wonderful day Day. Bye bye.